Hello and welcome to the Heidelberg Sustainability Talk. Today's topic is energy efficient equipment. I also want to say hello to my colleague Harald Werner. He's product manager for sustainability and an expert in this area. Harald, the CO2 emissions worldwide are even growing. The global warming is not slowing down and 2020 was one of the hottest years since records began. And this year we have thunderstorms and flooding in Europe and in the US and Australia. It's incredibly hot and there are bushfires. So I guess that there is a wide range of solutions and approaches needed to solve that. Absolutely, Kerstin. Sustainability is more important than ever. And to save the environment, one of the most efficient way is to save energy efficiently. And print shops have a lot of possibilities to do that, right? Right. Take Speedmaster presses, for example. These machines are extremely efficient. They use eco-friendly components that use only very little energy. Let's start here in the delivery with our dry star module. Our slide-in dryers use patented round nozzles that drive moisture away from the sheet very efficiently. Our gripper bars for the paper travel, they have a very low profile. This allows to apply the energy very close to the sheet. That is very similar to your hair dryer. The closer you come to your hair, the more efficient it dries. And obviously that saves lots of energy. Okay, all right, thank you. I think that's a very good example, the hair dryer. Um, but to keep it simple and to bring it to um, one point, the best energy is the energy we do not use. Exactly, Kerstin. And this applies also to our CombiStar Pro, our ink unit temperature control system. It uses outside cold air for the so-called free cooling. That means below 20 degrees Celsius, it is not even necessary to switch on the active cooling unit. And only above 20 degrees. Then automatically our two scroll star compressors are switched on. And their speciality is they take only so much energy out of the grid as is actually needed. A real energy saving system. Cold air can therefore help to achieve big savings. That sounds like a smart solution to me. Air can also use up a lot of energy. For example, compressed air. According to DENA, the German energy agency, around 7% of all the energy consumed by the German industry is used to generate compressed air. So Harald, what is our energy efficient solution for compressed air? Our Air Star Pro solves this problem and it's a real energy saving star. Inside, we have got a so-called turbo radial blower. It has an efficiency of 70%. Compared to standard blowers, so-called side channel blowers, they've got only 35%. So we have got double the efficiency. And this is enormous, I can tell you. What about the motors, Harald? The drives have enormous saving potential too. They are already achieving huge savings. Have a look at this main drive from the Speedmaster. It has got an efficiency level of 95%. That's 5% more than standard motors. If you look at it from the other side, losses are being halved. Are the eco-friendly components we have looked at available for all Speedmaster models? Absolutely. Some are in standard, other are optional. But they are all worthwhile for energy saving reasons and for the environment. As well as using eco-friendly components, we can also make the printing process itself more energy efficient. An energy meter has been integrated into the Speedmaster CX-104 that tells operators at the press center how much energy is being used in relation to speed. The most energy efficient printing speed is running at maximum speed which consumes just about 8 kilowatt hours per thousand sheets. Running the press at maximum speed is more energy efficient than running at reduced speed? That sounds strange to me, Harald. Is that really true and, and how come? That's absolutely true. Even if the print shop is not running at full capacity, 
it's always worthwhile running at maximum speed. Printing presses are totally different to cars where you need more fuels when running faster. Uh -huh. A printing press needs a certain amount of energy for basic operation. And if you are printing faster, you can distribute that energy over more output and therefore achieve lower energy per sheet. After all, our Speedmaster presses have got a standby function for time when nothing being printed. Only one hour of standby per shift can save up to 5,250 kilowatt hours per year. This is more than an average household uses up over that period. And this amount of energy equals to 3,150 kilograms of carbon dioxide. We had a look at various energy efficient components. But how does it fit in the big picture? Kassin, that is a very good and important question. Let it put me that way. We outperformed even the Kyoto Protocol from 1997. It requires an energy efficient improvement of at least 20% from 1990 to 2020. If we compare our flagship from back then, the Speedmaster CD1026 color plus coder, with our today's flagship, the Speedmaster XL1066 color encoder, we achieved an energy overall improvement of more than 40%. And this is really very great. So we can say that the Speedmaster is very lean when it comes to energy consumption. Absolutely. And the same can be said for other elements too. The products that are used the consumables and printing stocks offer additional potential. How resources like printing subscript and consumables can be saved during print production is the topic of our next sustainability talk. Harald, thank you very much for the deep and hands-on information on energy efficiency and sustainability. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to seeing you again. Bye bye and all the best.